Day one, the Biden-Harris administration made three changes that led to the unprecedented situation we've seen in our country. Day one, they decided no more building the wall, no more remain in Mexico while we evaluate your asylum claim, and once you get here, you will not be detained, you will be released into the country. And as a result of that, 10 million migrants have come into the country, 99 on the terrorist watch list. We've lost track, they've lost track of hundreds of thousands of young people who came into the country. And because of all those decisions made, again, deliberately, intentionally, in a premeditated way on day one of this administration, all kinds of terrible things have happened. All kinds of terrible things. Jocelyn Nungary, Noah Rodriguez, Kayla Hamilton, Weston Funder, Rachel Marin, Lakin Riley, Maria Gonzalez, Sam Fagan, Gabriel Fagan, each one of these individuals were someone's child. Each one had a promising life, promising life ahead of them. Each one had people in their lives who loved and cared for them. Each one, each one is a victim of the Biden-Harris open border policies. Jocelyn, uh, Jocelyn and Maria, not yet even teenagers, were brutally assaulted and murdered by illegal aliens who were released into the country by this administration. Kayla and Lakin, young women pursuing their dreams, were brutally assaulted and murdered by illegal aliens who this administration released into this country. Rachel Morin, a mom of five young children, was brutally assaulted and murdered by an illegal alien welcome into this country by Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. Noah Rodriguez, Sam Fagan, Gabriel Fagan, Weston Funder, teenagers and young men with bright futures were poisoned by fentanyl that this administration refused to stop from flowing across our southern border. You may have heard these names and stories and those of countless other victims of criminal illegal aliens, but not from Kamala Harris. Last week, a teenager in Manassas, Virginia was allegedly kidnapped by an illegal alien purportedly released into the country again by Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's administration. In January, two New York City police officers were assaulted by a group of illegal aliens who entered the country thanks to this administration's open border policy. In May of 2023, a teenage girl in Alabama was viciously assaulted in a restaurant bathroom by an illegal alien with a violent arrest record in his home country who was able to enter the country as a quote, got away because of this administration's policies that ensure, open, uh, that ensure border patrol agents are too busy processing illegal aliens to actually patrol the border and do their job. Last February, a Nassau County, New York man was the victim of a brutal anti-Semitic attack at the hands of an illegal alien who this administration released into the country. I could keep listing these stories. This is what happens when you have an administration that doesn't care about border security that prioritizes aliens over Americans and legal immigrants, and that refuses to enforce immigration laws in the interior of the country. I'm sure that we'll hear a lot of excuses from my uh, Democrat colleagues today. We will hear how the illegal border crossings have decreased. Of course, we all know that the Kamala Harris and Joe Biden are flying, are, are flying illegal aliens right now into the U.S. interior. We will hear that tired and flawed argument that natives commit more crimes than immigrants. Even if that was true, would it matter to Rachel's family, or Kayla's mom, or Jocelyn's mom, or Weston's family? The truth is that in every crime I've discussed, everyone committed by an illegal alien was preventable. If only we had an administration that did their job. But unfortunately, we don't. We have a Democrat presidential candidate who for years advocated for open borders. She was appointed the border czar, yet presided over the largest mass illegal immigration in US history. She has called for ICE to be abolished. She has laughed off questions about border security. She promoted amnesty. She has said that, quote, undocumented immigrant is not a criminal. And thanks to Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, we're on track to get to 12 million illegal aliens in the United States in this four-year uh, administration. 12 million. I always tell folks, 12 million, that's, that's the equivalent of the entire population of the, our state, state of Ohio, seventh largest state in the union. And that's not even counting the 1.9 million known gotaways who've evaded border patrol or the unknown number of gotaways who've not even been detected. American communities are left to suffer the consequences. We're gonna hear from people who've suffered it in a direct way today. 